All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol TSLA, Tesla Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So, Tesla has done a great job at actually recovering from its lows at 308. It's been up and down with the volatility of the market, which is normal. It rose up, it dipped back down, and it's starting to recover again. And now it's a slight dip and sideways movement but we are a lot higher than being at these lows here of 308 and also 350 and some change so once this has been recovered this is showing that the bulls are doing a great job at holding up and the bears are trying their best to tear this one down so if this continues any sideways movement and good news and innovation or attractiveness is formed by tesla to attract more investors this could be on its way up to newer highs but obviously we're going to watch this one daily so that we can see the resistance levels in which direction this is going because this could change very quickly since tesla is a very volatile one and it falls fairly quickly as quick as it starts to rise and i mean just within days you can see this one actually fall and then also rise again i mean it took from august 31st all the way to september 9th to bring it down this low and from september 9th to september 15th which was another six days to bring it back up to these highs and then it just you could just see how it takes several days for this to move fairly quickly in one direction or the other now one thing that i've noticed is that volume has actually settled down it's actually trading at 40 million and some change per day of stocks which also keeps this one kind of calm compared to what amount of volume it was trading previously closer to 100 million and 90 million and 80 million and those bigger numbers and it's actually keeping it pretty steady in a sideways direction as we can see zoomed out but the volatility of the market continues to exist i mean we can't avoid that but let's go ahead and see here what's important so the highest point here this stock has reached in the day for the bulls was 438.57 i'd write that down and down here at this support level is still one of the lowest points within the last two days after this bullish run and then now slight drop and leveling off so 424.29 if you want to write that down as a support to keep in mind is important but let's go ahead and look at the new resistance level which is the highest point reached in this slight recovery before the dip and Let's look at this support level here where we're at now, which was the lowest point of the day as it started to fall. So 50 day moving average is 426.94. See if I can land exactly on it. There we go. So 426.94 lets us know on what side of the chart we're in. This is going to be an interesting tug of war tomorrow to see if this momentum can continue from the bulls to start to work their way up further away from it. Or will the bears tear this one down fairly quickly? So let's look at our support here. Support is 425.55. If the bears accomplish this, they've accomplished two things. They got into bearish territory and they broke through the first support level, signifying that this could be on its way down to newer lows and newer support levels further away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction. So super important to keep that in mind that I want to emphasize, pay very close attention to 425. 55 and how this is reacting at those levels and the behavior of this stock how quickly is it moving down is it moving sideways are the bulls even trying to reappear and stop the bears and so forth now on the other spectrum this needs to be broken by the bulls to continue this momentum of recovery before the 50-day moving average catches up to the price and gets them into bearish territory and that is 435.07 the bulls need to break through that turn that into a support and start to work their way up to newer highs and newer levels. So super important for the bulls to break through this. And if you want to zoom in and look at this very narrowed to get an idea in which direction this is going, 429.71 is one of the first resistance levels, but it's not the key one to give us a sign that this is heading to newer levels and newer highs, but it could give us a sense of direction since it's the peak within the last couple of hours of the day as well when this started the momentum at 429.71 just keep that in mind as a sense of direction but again 435.07 needs to be broken through so that the bulls can continue the momentum to hit newer highs 
pull further away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction to new resistance levels and newer highs. So keep that in mind. And again, I want to emphasize, keep a close eye on support and see the behavior of the stock and how quickly is it moving down or are the bulls even trying to reappear? As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Share this with your friends and community. Don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications to let me know that you are actually going to participate in this channel by always watching every video and not missing a single one. The, the main reason is that way you allow me to know that you are a firm participator, that you will be coming back and you really enjoy these videos. And also you're doing yourself the favor to not miss a single video. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video and I go into detail about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising up several points on scheduled dates. What happens on those scheduled dates, which are the dates that I circled here on the chart and we're going to see for ourselves. Well, the S&P 500 index rises up several points and by doing so, they're bringing up several ticker symbols, not all of them, but most of them up with them. And these ticker symbols are rising up 30 cents to $3 per share. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but per share that does add up. And one thing I am really big on is profits. If you put a dollar into the market and you get out with $2, you've made profits. You've done what the whole purpose of being in the market is for to maximize profits and minimize losses. And with the federal reserve pumping the markets on these scheduled dates, bringing the S and P 500 index up, also brings up individual ticker symbols with them. And again, 30 cents to $3 may not sound like a lot of profit per share, but that does add up. And like I say, profits are profits. So we're going to look here at some of the dates so that you guys can see what I talk about in the video. And it's a weekly series. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on it. Definitely click on the video as it pops up at the end of the video and check it out. But here we are with one of the first pumps in the scheduled dates pumps. So the first one, since the last time that they had released this, they released this on September 14th and the next one's coming up on October 14th, which is like a week from now. And on the 15th, they scheduled it. And as you can see, this is the 14th and the 15th is this big green bar and it rose up. So on the 14th, we were at around 33.84 and it rose up to 34.20. I mean, that's 40 points risen on the S&P 500 index and that's creating that catalyst for individual ticker symbols to rise up 30 cents to $3. We're gonna look at another one here and the next one was on September 22nd. And here we are on the 21st after falling from that last pump and the market had been falling and you could see that there is volatility on every single day of the market before the dates of the pumps but on the dates of the pumps are the days that the most green happens for the most part not every time but for the most part but on the 21st which was a monday it was rising up and it rose up to this point here and the next one was the 22nd so this is the last 21st candlestick and this is the first 22nd candlestick and we were at 3270 this one rose up all the way up here to this point right here this was the last 22nd candlestick to 3319 i mean if we go back we were at 3270 3319 that's almost 50 point jump here for the s p 500 index and again individual ticker symbols rose up with it and it created that catalyst a little bit before the anticipation and on that date it rose up now on this next pump which was a little bit different there was a catalyst formed beforehand and it rose up to these highs on the 28th of about 33.59 it actually dipped on the date of the next pump which we see it here which was on the 29th of september and the next one was on the 6th which just happened yesterday and it actually slightly dipped now not every time is these pumps going to rise up the market like we've seen here by a lot of points but it still rises it back up or levels it off from hitting newer lows and leveling off the market itself because if we look at the previous notes that i did beforehand it was actually rising up with it the volatility was there but you were able to buy like for example how 
we bought here on the 15th and it rose up well it's been falling and then very volatile here up and down beforehand you can buy at the beginning of the schedule pump dates and hold a couple weeks and ride out several pumps and you are going on your way up but right now even as the market's going down it's a great opportunity to take advantage of the fact that the federal reserve is pumping the markets and there's an opportunity to make profits so here we are on the 29th and it fell to lows of 33.28 and it rose up to these highs here of 33.49 i know it doesn't sound like a lot but that's still a 20 point jump after dipping and recovering and then it continued to work its way up to newer highs now here on the 6th which on the 5th it started to rise it leveled off this is the last candlestick of the 5th coming up right now and we're about to see it here yes this is the last candlestick of the 5th and it rose up and all the way to the last candlestick of the 6th it rose up another 20 points i mean we're down here and it ended up around here so right now something i'm noticing is that these pumps are creating less of an effect on the market but it's creating that upward direction from falling to newer lows but it's still helping the market rise up and even though the s p 500 index is rising several points there are individual ticker symbols rising up like i said 30 cents to three dollars check out the video i go into more detail i don't want you guys to miss out on this great information click on it and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money